Hey, what's going on? Coming to you from Dubai. Beautiful city, highly recommend. If you ever do come, come to the Palm Jumeirah. It is the best place in Dubai, from my experience. I absolutely love it. And uh, I get a beautiful view here every single day. So this video, I wanna talk to you about simplifying an online business as a content printer. Uh, this video is not gonna be applicable to you if you're doing like drop shipping or e-commerce or anything like that. But if you are a content printer and you wanna be selling your coaching services or your courses or your memberships or your digital products like eBooks, what have you, even if you have uh, like retreats and you wanna sell in-person retreats and masterminds, this video will be helpful. I wanna introduce you to the idea of the three C's because a lot of clients come to me or a lot of people are in my community and they're telling me about how overwhelmed and confused they are with what they should be doing in their business. They're like, Ted, I've got a million things I could be doing. I could be doing this, I could be doing that, I could be doing this. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know what to do next. And they're just like super overwhelmed and they're very high anxiety and they're like super stressed out. And I just want to remind you to breathe. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> and then remember that there are only three C's in this content printer game. This is how to get clients, all right? Listen very closely. You put out content, that's the first C. From that content, you generate conversations, that's the second C. From those conversations, you get clients, that's the third C. With that third C, you gotta work with your clients, get them results, take their results, take their case studies, take their success stories, put them back into your content, and then it all generates again. So. Knowing that there are only three C's you need to focus on, that can help reduce anxiety, that can help reduce confusion, that can help reduce shiny object syndrome. Because every day you just gotta ask yourself, how's my content? Could I be putting out content right now, yes or no? The answer is probably yes. In fact, there's no real better use of your time, most likely at this stage, than making good content. Making good content that generates conversations. And once you put out your content, most people who are stressing out over like what to do in their business, the content sucks. Like you, you, you watching this right now, your content probably sucks. And when I say sucks, I mean, I don't mean you suck. I mean, your content probably sucks. It's just not good at generating conversations. It's not helpful enough to help people uh, get results in advance of ever working with you. There's something called RIA content, results in advance content. And that is content that you put out that helps people get a result in advance of them ever working with you. Like you help them get results before they ever have to work with you. People are like, oh, I don't want to give away the farm. Give away the farm. Tell people how to succeed on YouTube. Tell people how to succeed on Instagram. Give away everything you know. Just get them results. Give away all the sauce for free. And then people are gonna love you and people are gonna be like, wow, this is amazing. And they're gonna go in and get results without ever paying you. Then once they get results without ever paying you, they're gonna think, well, what if I actually paid them? What if I actually got closer to them and joined their mastermind and actually worked one-on-one -on -one with them, right? So that's the C, that's the first C, the content. Give away your best stuff for free. And then in that content, you wanna, like I said, generate conversations. So how do you do that? Well, in your content, you can, give away even more stuff for free and let people know that, hey, if you want, if, if you like what you just heard and you think it'll really work for you and you wanna implement it, I've put together an implementation guide or I've put together a more in-depth workshop that shows you how to really implement this to get results with it. If you wanna get that completely for free, you can click it, uh, you can get it by the link in the, in the description or you, you can get it by, by visiting this website or whatever. But you give them a gift for free where they then go and opt in, they put their name and email in to opt in to get the free thing. Or you could just say, send me a DM if you want this free thing. Like that's a great form of content as well. So you like you see me on Facebook, you follow me, I highly recommend following me on Facebook. I post A grade quality content on there that generates a lot of conversations that makes us a lot of sales. And you could be copying exactly what I'm doing because it works really, 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 really well. Written piece of content that says, hey, I made my first million dollars using a simple webinar formula. If you want that exact webinar formula that I followed, comment webinar below and I'll send it over to you. What do you think people are gonna do? 
Well, if they're following me for make money online advice and they hear that I made a million dollars online with a webinar and they want to do that too, they're going to comment webinar below. They comment webinar below, we send them a DM, we give them the free thing. Now we're in a conversation with them. So this is the second C, the C of conversation. That conversation is very simple. You don't need to overthink it. It's like, hey, John, here's the free thing. By the way, what are you looking to accomplish with this free thing? John's like, oh, I want to make my first million dollars too. But cool. Um, what are you struggling with at the moment when it comes to making money online or when it comes to launching your webinar? And John would be like, oh, I'm really struggling with the offer. I'm not quite sure how to formulate a really good offer at the end of the webinar, or I'm not sure what to call the webinar, or I'm not sure where to host the webinar, or whatever. John will tell me a bunch of things that he's struggling with in the conversation, and then I'll say something like, awesome, John, well, because, I wouldn't say awesome, because he just told me what he's struggling with, but I'd say, got you, John, sounds like you're struggling with X, Y, and Z. Would it be helpful to hop on a quick 10, 15 minute call with me to help you reach that million dollar goal with webinars while helping you overcome those obstacles that you're experiencing? How could John say no to a quick, free conversation that helps him get the thing he wants while eliminating the thing he doesn't want? He's gonna say, yeah, let's do it. So he says, yeah, let's do it, we get on a call. I introduce him to the program, how we can help. He says, that sounds amazing, let's do it. Boom, he becomes a client. I work with John. I implement everything in our program to help him get results with his webinar. He goes on and crushes it, starts making five, 10, 15 grand a month. He then reports back, hey, I'm crushing it. Thank you so much. I'd like to give a success story leave a testimonial, where can I do that? Sure, John, do it right here, thanks a lot, way to go, keep crushing. We take John's story, we put it on social media, that becomes our content. Underneath John's story, we say, hey, if you want results like John, DM us the word John, or DM us, yeah, DM us the name John. People DM us, John, 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 John. We get on a, con get on a call with them, the cycle repeats. So there's only three things to focus on. You've got content, you've got conversations, and you've got clients. If you're watching this right now, chances are you suck at content. That's okay, most people do. You didn't go to school for content. You haven't practiced making content. You haven't practiced speaking on camera. You haven't practiced copywriting. Two of the best skills you could practice and develop as soon as possible is copywriting and public speaking. Public speaking and copywriting. That will really help you with your content. Because content doesn't need to be video form like this, but it really helps if it is. It can also be written content. I've made, I've gotten a lot of clients from written content, long form written content, not like tweets. Tweets are are all right for just spitting off some quick ideas, but they're not really gonna convert. You're not gonna, no one's gonna read a tweet and be like, I wanna sign up for that guy's program. They'll, they might follow you for your tweets or whatever, but then once they read a long form piece of content, they'll be like, wow, this is amazing, I wanna buy this. Or I wanna work with this person, whatever. But. The, the more you write as well, the reason writing is so important is because writing creates clean thinking. If you can clearly articulate a thought in a piece of writing, chances are you can clearly speak that thought as well. The people who ramble and ramble and ramble, I don't often see them write. The people who are good at writing are also very concise with their words. So practice copywriting, you can study copywriting, it's very easy to do, it's all over YouTube, it's all over Google, just YouTube at how to become a great copywriter and you'll find it infinite amount of info on how to do that. But my favorite piece of advice for getting good at copywriting is to read really good copy. And then when you go to write your copy, write it like that. Make it sound like the copy you just read. You'll be amazed how easy it is to do that. But you need a good starting point. It's kind of like tracing when you're learning how to draw. I remember when I was a kid, I, I didn't know how to draw. I still don't. But uh, when I was learning, I would trace over good drawings. And at the end, I was so proud of myself. I was so impressed with what I drew, even though I traced right over it. So same with copywriting. Just get some good copy, get some good sales copy, get some, see some good emails, see some good posts, and uh, just copy them. Put your own spin on it, hit send, hit publish, and it's yours. So you got the content, then you got the conversations. You're just finding out what do they want to achieve? What are they struggling with? Would it be helpful to hop on a quick call with them? You hop on a quick call with them. You again, you find out more about what they want to achieve, what they're really struggling with. You let them know that you could probably help them inside of your program. Here's the information. If they're interested, let's do it. If not, totally all good. Um, I'll go ahead and send you some more free training. You just send them on their way with some more free training. Done. If they do become a client, cool, amazing, congrats. You've you've gotten client. You've you've made some money. But now the real work begins. Now you have to actually get them results. If you do not get your clients results, your life will be a nightmare. You will hate your life. 
they will hit you, everyone will hit you, word will get out, you're a scammer, you suck, blah, blah, blah. So you have to actually get people results. That's why we post our testimonials everywhere. We have a wall of testimonials. We have dozens and dozens and dozens of testimonials from people getting results because our program is so simple. It follows these three C's. It goes into depth on these three C's. Unlike any other program I've ever seen, we don't add in a whole bunch of shiny objects. We keep it super simple. We keep the structure focused on these three C's. When we work with the clients, we make sure the content is amazing. That's why they get conversations. We make sure the conversations are amazing. That's why they get clients. We make sure the clients, uh, the client success pathway is amazing. That's why they're able to get client results, which then then put into their content again. My favorite thing to see is my clients getting testimonials. That is the best. That is the best thing ever, seeing my clients get testimonials. And that should ultimately be your goal. Your goal should not be to make money. Your goal should be to get testimonials. Whenever we get a testimonial, to me, that's worth like 10 sales, 20 sales, 30 sales. I love it. So that's it. Just want to simplify all my business for you. Three C's, never forget it. Content, conversations, clients. Content, conversations, clients. Content, conversations, clients. Content, conversations, clients. If you would like help implementing on content, conversations, and clients, click the link below this video. You can schedule a free call with either myself or someone on our team. We'll let you know about our program, if we can help. And if working together seems like, a, seems like it makes sense right now, cool, let's do it. If not, after that call, we'll at least send you on your way with some free training specifically to help you with what you're struggling with. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I know I would have if I had watched it many years ago. So enjoy the rest of your day and maybe we'll speak soon. Peace from Dubai. Content, conversations, clients. Peace.